Hi there, everyone. What I wanted to do in this video is I've been getting some questions as to the procedure that I use to cut fret slots on the uh, on a fretboard. Uh, well, as you can see here, I have a uh, one piece neck. It's a uh, uh, Stratocaster uh, type of neck that I designed uh, in Fusion 360 for a uh, 62 Stratocaster that I'm planning on building. Uh, but you know you can see here the fretboard is actually one piece neck uh, nothing to keep you from you know um, separating this and making it into a separate fretboard uh, the process is the same but if I reorient the neck in this manner you will see that the top of the fretboard as it's usually the case for all uh, fretboards is you have a particular type of radius I believe this one in my case is about nine and a half degrees which is typical for uh, 62 era uh, Fender Stratocasters and um, when I cut the fret slots what I want the fret slots to be you know let's say for example I'm using uh, medium fret wire that has a uh, tang length of about 0.055 in Imperial uh, obviously I want that uh, slot of the fret uh, uh, to be the same here as if it's here but because as you can see here if it's curved if I was just gonna cut straight across um, I would have had to cut deeper here, right, because there's less material. We can eliminate that by, again, uh, cutting the fret slot in a manner that's curved and doing it on a CNC machine. It's extremely easy to follow that contour. Uh, but cutting those slots uh, here in Fusion 360 was not as intuitive as I thought it was going to be. So I uh, uh, used uh, the following. Uh, after a while, I, you know, playing around with the extrude tool, that I found out uh, how to do it. So the way to do it is obviously we need a uh, sketch for the frets and I have that here. Uh, this is a 25 and a half uh, inch scale uh, neck. Uh, obviously everything is measured from the nut. However, you wanna, you know, if, you, if your scale length is different. And as you can see here, I've just created very simple geometry that has the width of the uh, tang. I think in my case is 0.0 uh, to six or something like that. Uh, obviously your fret wire, uh, depending on what the width of the tang is, is going to vary. And the fret wire that I'm going to use, medium medium, requires that I cut a slot uh, 0.05 uh, deep, maybe 0.056. I wanna leave maybe a little bit of space for glue, etc. We can do that as well. So the way that I do this is if I reorient the neck in this manner, I bring up the extrude tool, as you can see here, and the first thing that I need to do is select everything that I need to cut and the geometry there as you can see gets highlighted and now what I do instead of obviously like I said blindly cutting and as you can see here if we did this the reorienting it here you see the depth here is it, it, it's gonna be different because of the curved top so rather than blindly doing that uh, what I do is Instead of, a, you, you go to the extent here and you say to object, okay? The object that I select is the top of that fretboard. You can see it's contoured. And then the offset here, I'm gonna use a negative 0.056, which is really how deep I want that tang to be. And the operation is cut. And if I reorient it in a way that we can see this, you can actually see that the cut is actually following the contour of the fretboard. So it's not only going to be 0.056 here, but it's also going to be 0.056 here. And you can see from the geometry that it actually follows that contour. So no matter what radius you use on your fretboard, if you again go and, you know, the, the, uh, the extend here, you choose to be two object. You select the object. In this case, it was the top surface of this fretboard. And then, you know, you use an offset. That cut will be, in fact, if you will, cut from the top of that surface and it will have a curved bottom. We go on ahead and hit OK. We can go and hide that sketch. And you can see now that we have all the frets cut in a nice manner in the depth that we need but also that bottom you can kind of like see it there let me just try to zoom it in there you go you can see that the bottom 
is also curved. And again, using a, a very thin um, width of your fret slot tool on your CNC machine, obviously taking many depths of cuts so as to not break that tool, you can cut very beautiful curved bottom fret slots that um, will allow you to fit those frets in there perfectly with a little bit of glue. And a lot of people say, I don't know how true this is, is that it also because it makes better contact with the fretboard, you get better tone, etc. But that's something obviously I have not <laughs> experimented with. But anyway, um, very, very short here. Just wanted to show you how you can very easily go and cut fret slots in a curved manner. You know, the slot to be curved by using those tools that I showed in the, uh, in the extra tool. And that's how I do it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.